Okay, in this video, I am going to go over how to calculate equivalent resistance for resistors in parallel. Okay, now, here is the circuit we're going to use. We have three resistors in parallel. R1 is 8 ohms, R2 is 5 ohms, and R3 is 10 ohms. And we have a battery, a voltage supply, which is a 9-volt battery. Now, when we calculate the equivalent resistance for resistors in parallel, this is the equation we use, okay? One over the equivalent resistance, or sometimes I like to call it one over the total resistance. That's why I have RT. One over RT is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. That's the equation. And all we do, because we're solving for the total resistance, which is right here, we are going to plug our values in, which means one over RT equals one divided by eight plus one divided by five, plus one divided by 10, okay? Now, I'm just going to do that on my calculator. One divided by eight, plus one divided by five, plus one divided by 10, and I get that RT, excuse me, I get that one over RT is equal to 0 0.425. Now, it is important to notice that this is not the equivalent resistance. This is one over the equivalent resistance. So now, in order to solve for RT, not one over RT, but in order to solve for RT, we need to take the reciprocal of both sides of our equation. We're going to flip up both sides of the equation. And if we flip up the left side, we get RT, or RT over one, which we just write as RT. Now this is 0.425, and if I flip that up, I take the reciprocal, then I get 1 over 0.425. And RT equals 1 divided by 0.425. So on my calculator, I'm going to go 1 divided by 0.425, and I get that the total equivalent resistance, the equivalent resistance, the total resistance for that circuit is 2.35 ohms. Now, I have a pretty good idea that that's the right answer because when you calculate the equivalent resistance for resistors in parallel, the equivalent resistance is always going to be less than the resistor with the lowest resistance. The resistance with the lowest resistance is resistor number 2, which is 5 ohms, and 2.35 is less than 5 ohms. Okay, so that is how you calculate the equivalent resistance for resistors in parallel. Follow the steps. Write down the equation. Substitute the numbers in. Solve for 1 over RT. Take the reciprocal of both sides. Get RT and then think about your thinking because RT needs to be less than the resistor with the lowest resistance. Okay? Thank you very much. I think if you follow those steps, you'll be successful. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, you can give me a thumbs up or a comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much, and we will see you in the next video.